So guys, um, as mentioned, we'll be traveling again locally. Um, and if you're wondering what, why are you traveling, you could watch our vlog two days ago where I explain why. I personally am surprised that we're traveling so soon. I mean, I am curious to know what traveling in the new normal is like and what responsible traveling would be like. Like the whole process and all of that. Um, we'll definitely be vlogging everything. But if you're asking where we'll be flying to, well, Mabuhay Squad, the answer to that is Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Bohol! Yes! Do you guys know Bohol? So Bohol is another island, another province here in the Philippines. Um, and it's gorgeous there, guys. It's most known for these awesome geographical, like, landmark, I guess. I'm not sure if we scientifically know how they were formed, but the place is called Chocolate Hills. Have you guys seen it? Guys, Philippines Bohol Chocolate Hills. It's amazing. I've been there once. Like, when I first came here to the Philippines, I visited the Chocolate Hills, and it's unreal. It's the these collection of hills, literally like Super Mario Brothers hills, that turn brown during the summer. Um, so I don't know if they're brown now, but we will see. So we're going to Bohol, courtesy of Cebu Pacific, and um, I'm really excited. I'm just afraid of the no swab. Like that is something I'm not looking forward to at all. But guys, I can't wait for us to go to <coughs> The whole Philippines. <laughs> RJ, why are you coughing? <laughs> if you're coughing like that, they'll kick us off the plane. <laughs> Have you been to Bohol? Yeah, once. Once. Did you like it? Yeah, it's so beautiful. Yay! Can't wait. And RJ's been like making arrangements with our accommodation, and apparently, guys, it's a beautiful, beautiful hotel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't wait to see. So, guys, I mean, Philippine tourism is trying to start up again. Thousands of jobs were lost because of this pandemic. So we want to support them. You know what I mean? And show you guys the responsible way of traveling because there is a responsible way to travel. Um, and I'm interested to see actually myself all the procedures that need to take place in order to travel at least domestically within the Philippines. Um, so guys, Bohol Vlogs coming up. Yeah. And I hear our hotel is on the beach. Look at how beautiful it is outside. I ran a 10K this morning. See that? Gorgeous, gorgeous. 10K was with my cousins Edmark and Raquel. Thank you, Lord, for a beautiful day, beautiful Saturday. And guys, we're having breakfast with Heinz. Good morning, Heinz. And Ate Elsie. Guys, check out breakfast. Ooh, what is this? So there's carrots, bangos, which is milk fish. There's ham, sausages, longanisa, and cucumber. And is that mushroom soup? Mm. As for myself, I don't usually eat this at this time. Uh, not that hungry. Maybe later. Um, but guys, let's see our positive affirmation of the day. Okay guys, so positive affirmation for Saturday, January the 9th. As I flow with life, I easily release all struggle. Only good comes to me now. There you go guys. Hope you enjoy today's positive affirmation. Love the marine fish. So guys, um, a lot of you have been commenting, saying that we want to learn more about Ate Elsie. And you know, I read those comments and I'm like, you know, that's such a good idea. Um, and so I figured, why don't we make today's vlog about none other than the Ate Elsie. Yes. So for those of you who don't know, this is Ate Elsie, our house helper, but I prefer to call her house manager because she does a lot of things and she is considered a live out helper um, which means she doesn't live with us but she comes here to work every time we need her every time we need her yeah but when we move to the Mabuhay Squad farmhouse she will have her own home um, and she'll probably commute back and forth like on weekends or whatnot but guys I am super excited for this vlog because I am excited to share Ate Elsie's story with you her story is pretty amazing I think Ate Elsie what where in the Philippines are you from? Yeah. Ah, in Ilo. Born and raised in Iloilo, and that is where Mabuhay Squad Farm is. Yeah, our other farm, our agricultural farm, which is great. And what's the language in Iloilo? Karai a. Karai a. Okay, so basically she speaks a language that's different from Tagalog, which Filipinos generally speak. Is that fair to say? And so what age did you move to Manila? 
18. 18 years old. So she's been here for a while. So most of her life now, mm. she's lived here. So guys, she's very shy to explain. So she went to school in Iloilo and finished grade five, and then she stopped school. So the the level of school that she's achieved is grade five. At what age did you start working? Well. 12. Her first job was in, at the age of 12. In Sambuanga. In another city called Sambuanga, in Mindanao. Doing what? House help. Yes. She's been working since she was 12 to 15 Sambuanga. years old. And then from when from 15. She, from 15 in Bacolod. Oh, you went to Bacolod? So she went to another city. 15 to 18, house helper. Then from 18, she moved to, to Manila. Manila and continue to do house help. Oh, yeah. So before RJ, she came to work with us. What was she doing before? Like who, who was she working for before? She was working janitress. As, as janitress. As a janitress. As a janitress. 13 years. For, for 13, 13 years? years? For a company? Agency. Agency, okay. And her salary is two, how much? <laughs> 2,000? To, to, 2,200 a month. Guys, she was making $40 a month. So she had to also take public transit back home every day. Yeah, the company didn't include food. So she also had to use her salary to buy groceries. And she has another job. Oh, and she had another side job. Six thousand a month. Okay, so altogether she was making about ten thousand something. Eight thousand. Eight thousand something, which is she was making one hundred and sixty U.S. dollars a month. And with that, she had to make pay for commuting every day to and from work, and from work to work, and also afford groceries for herself and family, and husband and kids. How many kids are there? Two kids. Two kids. Okay, so when I moved from the hotel I was at, where I met RJ, so RJ and I, we moved here, mm -hmm. right? And then we were talking about like, okay, now that we're in a slightly larger place, we might need help for cleaning and mm -hmm. like general duties. So we asked around like where we can find a helper. Mm -hmm. And one of our friends recommended Ate Elsie to uh, come here. So I'm like, okay, great. So part-time, for part-time. For part-time. So every now and then Ate Elsie would come here, what, once or once a week? Once a week. Oh, 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 and okay. help us. How many hours? Six hours. Hours, oh. once as, a week. As, as soon as she, as she finished oh. a work, uh, cleaning, she would go to her other job. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so she was working with us for a while, and then RJ, Deba, we saw her out in the street working with her other job. Yeah, yeah. We were shocked. She was throwing garbage. Yeah, I was shocked, guys, because she was a janitress. But just seeing her like with a garbage bag on the street, and I'm like, okay, Ate, what are you doing? And she was like working. So I said to RJ, I'm like. RJ, maybe we can get her to be with us full time. Yeah, yeah. I asked her to stop her two jobs, two part time jobs, and work with us. Yeah. Work for us. Yeah, so then that is how Ate Elsie became part of our team. And immediately she became part of the family. Ate, how many years now? Is that 2013? Over six years. Over six years, Ate Elsie has been working with us. So um, obviously, working with us. Her salary went up from what she was making before um, and though we're not gonna say what her salary is she's making as much as is it fair to say as much as like an office worker more than <laughs> someone who does like office admin or even call center call center even call center agents she makes more than and recently she also moved in she has a new apartment she recently upgraded, which we're so proud of her for, um, for herself and her family. With us, she has free hospitalization and medicines. Yep, we give her vitamins, anything she needs. Uh, yep. What else? Health insurance, we, we give her for yeah, Christmas. And, and life insurance. Yeah, what else? because she's part of the family now, guys. She's like us what, now. What else? Birthday bonus, Christmas <laughs> bonus, 30th month pay, equivalent to her monthly salary. Yeah. She is a priority for everything that we have here. Yeah, <laughs> she's part of the family now. Yeah, so we're also building her a home on the Mabuhay Spot farmhouse. Um, so she can have her privacy. Uh, also, she's been out of the country. Hey. Guys, we took her once to um, Taiwan. Did you like Taiwan? Did you enjoy? How about the pakain? Did you like the food? Yeah, <laughs> it was so cute. When we were going to the airplane at the airport, 
we were like, oh no, I was watching at the LC because I knew it was her first time flying. And she was like, Ganon talaga ang size ng airplane. She couldn't believe the plane was that large. She was asking me, she's like, is really that how big the plane is? I'm like, yes, Ate. And this is a small plane. It was a small plane. We but... also flew, flew her to Iloilo. Yeah, flew her to Iloilo to be moved, with her family. Yeah, because when she moved to Manila. Ah, okay. So she she came to Manila from Iloilo by boat. Yeah. Yeah. So she had never flown before, but that was an interesting that was an interesting experience. I was like, you you can go watch that vlog actually. Her first time in an airplane. It was pretty fun. And also the vlogs of us in Taiwan. She really enjoyed. Yeah, Ate Elsie will be the boss of our future household because she really knows how we do things. So she will just instruct them. To yeah, um, minimal, minimal work for her. Yeah, and during the house blessing of the Mabuhay Squad farmhouse, Ate Elsie also helped us break the soil. Right, she was part of it. Um, and you, Mabuhay Squad, have sent her lots of gifts. Thank yeah, you, thank so, you much. so much. Uh, she really appreciates it um, and yeah so now you guys know her very inspiring story <laughs> you have six brothers and sisters yeah. oh my god four brothers and three sisters her mom works as in a laundry mat she does laundry yeah uh, her father was a jeepney driver so guys Ate Elsie is really perfect her memory is so good right yeah. when we started to get more and more pets I was shocked first of all that she is an animal lover you guys know in the Ligaya vlogs how much Ligaya loved Ate Elsie how much Cypher over there <laughs> loves Ate Elsie and she's so good with all the pets like I would just tell her okay this tarantula needs to be fed once a week of this and she follows instructions so well like such good memory very detail-oriented she smart. remembers street smart also she remembers like the cycle of how to take care of tanks you know the cycle of the fertilizers just very very sharp memory which i really really love she's great with high-tech equipment she's laughing she's great with high-tech equipment touch screens. touch screens anything like that um she does bank runs for us yeah, yeah. Just anything we need, she remembers, and she's very sharp at like making split decisions without us. Yeah, yeah which we really appreciate. Just all around awesome, Kelsey. Maraming salamat. She is like our second mother. Yeah, she's like our mom. And now, Mabuhay Squad, you know the story of Ate Elsie. Guys, feel free to leave Ate Elsie a comment in the comments of this vlog. She's definitely one of our family. Do not consider her an employee or anything like that. She's literally our family. Um, and what's funny is, some of you guys asked, okay, did she know about you and RJ when you were in the closet? So, let's ask Ate Elsie, did you know Bakla Kame? <laughs> she says no! Really? We were sleeping in the same room? Yeah, because in, in the Philippines, especially in the province, it's very common to... For guys to sleep in the same bed and same bedroom. <laughs> OMG! Do you guys believe this? The whole time I'm like, Ate Elsie knows. But no, like she said, in the Philippines, apparently, guys can sleep in the same room together and, and like, it's okay. Like guys as in like 30 something year old men, I'm like, hmm, because abroad that's already fishy, right? Um, but hey, she, she never asked, she never assumed. Like, see, the level of professionalism, love it. Anyways, there, that's to answer your question. And guys, guess what else? So her granddaughter is my Ina Ana, which means my goddaughter. So she made me the godfather of her granddaughter. And she's so cute, her name is Lordy May. And we like spoil her with presents every holidays. Guys, my dream is to bring Ate Elsie to Canada. Oh, that'll be awesome. And I think she can get the visa um, because I mean, she's already been out of the country. So we're gonna try to get her to travel more and more um, out of the country here in Asia, which I think is easier for her. Um, and then we can get the visa for us to travel to North America because guys, I want her to experience snow. <laughs> Ate, do you want to experience winter? She's like, no. <laughs> Yeah, she's afraid of cold. And in fact, even when my aircon is on, she's like, oh, malame. She's like, yellow, which means ice. But yeah, I, I would love for her to travel more with us. That'll be great. <laughs> OMG, guys. Something just came to our door. Mm hmm. 
and it looks pretty interesting. Mabuhai squad, check out what just came to our door. 